Today we traveled a bit west of the lake. We're in Bolingbrook, Illinois at the Rocket Ice Ring and we are learning about the sport of curling on this week's Jump in the Lake. The house is a 12 foot concentric circle. Um, so, so it each looks, line like the, bullseye, looks like a bullseye. Looks like a bullseye. Um, the but the rings don't symbolize different score. Nope. Everything that's in the house counts as one point. It can just be touching the outside ring by an eighth of an inch. Or it could be dead center of the bullseye right on what's called the button. It could be right on the button and that's still one point. The whole goal is to get your stones closer than your opponent's stones. So kind of like bocce ball. Mm -hmm. um, however many you have closer than your opponent's closest one, is how many points you would score. Well, yeah. I think what people don't realize is that when you curl, it's not smooth ice. Um, we do something called pebbling. Um, so that's what gives, that's what allows the rocks to curl. We're sprinkling hot water onto the ice. That will give it variation so the rocks will be able to grip and curl over time. Um, so as you throw it down, the rocks will be turning and rotating one direction or the other and that's what causes the curl. Um, so that pebbling is, is crucial. So as the rock's traveling down and rotating, the goal is to st stay in front of it, follow the path down, and sweep in front. Reducing the friction by melting the ice allows it to go farther, and it also melts that pebble that we were just talking about, so it prevents it from curling. So you just don't want to touch the stone? You can't touch the stone. Okay, so that would be bad. Yeah, that would be bad. It's not even a make it, is it? Hurry, hurry, come, come, keep going, 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 keep I didn't fall on my butt, so. <laughs> you stayed upright. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. One of the most important jobs about the sweeping, and that's why I kind of think it's the most important thing in curling, is you gotta be able to communicate down to your skip, the guy standing in the house, where you think it's gonna end up. Greg will give his own unique way of letting me know what exactly he wants. And to let me know where he wants the stone to stop, he'll yeah. tap the resting spot. When I see him tap there, I go, okay, I know that's where the stone should end. How familiar are you with the sport? From watching on the Olympics, I have a niece who's involved in it heavily and one of my son's friends is. Okay, so your family is not a stranger to curling, even though this is going to be your first experience to watching it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. okay. We're not a stranger to watching it. <laughs> uh, 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 but you're going to be out on the ice tonight. Are you nervous about it? Or? Yeah. Just a little Just bit. Like Why? Um, I like trying new things, but it's also kind of nerve-wracking to try new things. Like and, and you're on the ice. Yeah, I don't want to fall. I'm not as sure-footed as my, as my kids are on the ice. So. <laughs> when I was 20 years old, I was in Toronto. Um, and we're walking down the streets of Toronto and the bars were exploding like as if there was a, a Bears game or Cubs game in Chicago and my friend and I were walking saying what's going on? So we walk in there and there's you know these guys throwing you know what, what I thought were you know shuffleboard pieces down uh, you know down the ice and, and as soon as we said you know what is going on they said oh you must be from the States. <laughs> we said yeah and they, they sat us down, these you know, two guys you know, bought us a beer, sat us down and uh, explained the game. We sat there for probably four hours watching what ended up being the national championships. Um, and ever since then, you know, that was 14 years ago, every Olympics, every world championship, every time it's on TV, I'm DVRing it, I'm, I'm watching it. Um, and my wife thinks I'm nuts, but I, I, I was completely into it. And this year, the Olympics is when, when I stumbled across the website for Windy City Curling. So, from the time you became fascinated with the sport, I mean, it's been 14 years until you decided to actually say, hey, you know, maybe I can play this. Yeah, well, that, you know, there was college there. Kind and of then a slow starter. I'm a slow starter. <laughs> and, and I think this is now part of my life, yeah. Like a, like a bowler goes to a bowling league, like a golfer goes golfing, I think now I'm just gonna be curling forever. It's addictive, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but why? You say, I, I've heard a couple of people now say, this is such an addictive sport. It's, it's fun, it's fun to push the rock, it's fun to broom, and it's fun to be in a group. I think, you know, there's a big social component to curling, you know, so, um, 
it's yeah, it's just a lot of fun, and you don't have to be super good like golf, you know, uh, to have fun. So you can get out there and and just you know throw the rocks, and you maybe not everything's going to be perfect, but but you're going to have fun. I'm like you know on a golf course where you're frustrated half the time. Yeah, but when your friends say they're going golfing, nobody kind of raises an eyebrow and says, what? <laughs> when That's you tell true. your friends you're That's curling, true. what do they think you're doing? Yeah, they go like, yeah, like on the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, like on the Olympics, except we're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> but you have just as much fun. We do, we do. We have just as much fun, and it's a sport that, well, sort of like golf, you can do from an early age all the way until you're well into your senior years. You know, you just go at a slower pace, so. So that's kind of cool. We've had so much fun tonight. We've been uh, serving up some stones. We've been sweeping our little hearts out. And we've been falling all over the ice. But we've had a great time with Windy City Curling. And we want to thank you so much for joining us on this week's Jump in the Lake.